Hi, this is Luke for UncommonHeritage.com and today I want to show you my chicken house. This chicken house is four foot by eight foot. It's made to hold up to about 10 chickens depending on a lot of factors including the breed and size and temperament, uh, how much they're let out. It's made four foot wide so it'll fit into the back of a pickup truck and about eight feet long. It's sized so that I can put uh, four pieces of roofing material on the top. We have the door we can open here on the outside. We'll go in and this door or chicken ramp it will raise up and close and it'll make a door but it's hinged at the bottom just a couple of pins in it then when it's up it counts it works for a door when it's down it works for a ramp and it probably is too steep for a ramp the way it is for most chickens it could be set on a block or something and um, held up a little bit higher like so this is an s box there are two boxes here and i'm not sure if you can see inside very well it needs a roost still. I didn't put a roost in the bottom. You'll have to fill that up with shavings or corn cobs or some kind of bedding material that is absorbent. Uh, the rope that's on here, that is so that I can pull this ramp up from the inside without having to step out here into the outside portion and open the door and come in and now this house, it could be mounted on two by 12s that were sunk into the ground to, on edge to keep things from digging under it. Uh, it could be put on a cement pad, it could be put on gravel. There's a lot of ways that it could be mounted just depending on how you plan to use it. It could be put on skids, a couple of two by fours and so it could be pulled around with a lawnmower. I'm not sure what this weighs. I wanna guess it's over 300 pounds. I can load it myself onto the back of a truck, barely, but I have long arms and a strong back. This door is the access to get inside. And I'm not sure, I'm going to turn the camera sideways, see if I can get a little better exposure on the nest boxes here there's two nest boxes I'm going to come around to this out other outside you can see um, I like the space underneath it uh, in hot weather, it, it makes shade for the chickens. They can always get under there and get cooled off if they need to. Of course, this design could be made a little bit differently. It could be made with a detachable run. I use 2 by 3s for most of it. Some of the framing on the inside is one by threes furring strips. Um, really, I could have just used one by twos. I'll show you here on the door. Uh, you can see how it's framed out with one by threes. And on the inside, it's the same thing. That one by three framing. Um, there is a, roof, a board that runs across the middle of the roof. So there are three boards that run the length of it to hold the roof up that I screwed it down to. But I was saying that um, I used one by threes. The reason I used one by three furring strips instead of one by twos is because the lumber yard was out of one by twos. Underneath the floor is two by fours. I believe there are four of them. Two in the middle, two on the edges. And I use 3 8 plywood for the whole thing. 
on the top it's just a kind of a plastic vinyl roofing material like you'd use for deckings it's not very strong but it's I felt like it was safer than corrugated uh, metal because this roof is very low um, people could reach up and perhaps get cut on sharp edges and I wanted to avoid that possibility I did paint it before I put the wire on and before I put the roof on. It made painting a lot easier. Well, let's shut the door up. If you notice on the door, I made a long slot here. Because depending on how this sets, um, it, it will fasten differently. because the whole frame will torque a little bit. Well, that's my chicken house. It's the second one of these I built this summer. I'm selling this one. Thanks for watching. This has been Luke Townsley for UncommonHeritage.com.